It's a scary situation when those who do the rescuing need a lift. You might remember these pictures from last March when a fireboat sank and four members of the Anne Arundel County Fire Department ended up in the water near Gibson Island. Now an incident report is out with some lessons for them and all boaters. The minute that they saw Gail the, or they saw the weather change, they should have they should have stopped and talked about it. Captain Jason Levin from our sister company, the Annapolis School of Seamanship, helps us understand some key safety points. The report says the boat's crew checked the weather but obtained an inaccurate forecast that did not represent the conditions that they would encounter. They all felt comfortable. They got permission to go out in the small craft and that's when it started to turn as soon as they realized that the wind was not what it was supposed to be during the small craft. The crew ended up in gale warnings based on higher wind speed and wave height. Captain Levin checks NOAA for the forecast and the Windy app for a real-time look at conditions. This is called Windy. So Windy is one of the, in my opinion, one of the best apps. So you can actually go to the location where we currently are. Like at 10 hundred this morning, it's supposed to be four knots with a gust out of 11, and it actually shows you the wind direction. The fire department is making changes, including a practice that allows fireboat crews to have accurate forecasts for areas where they will be operating. The report indicates several contributing factors came together, resulting in the sinking of the boat. This picture shows a section of rope was found entangled on the starboard motor prop. Captain Levin says our deck should be clear at all times, especially during bad weather. Anytime you're ready to go out to sea on your boat, you want to make sure your vessel's secure for sea. That's meaning taking all the gear and stowing it in the proper location. The report says the crew did not check the water level in the bilge of the vessel or use the manual bilge pump function before leaving the dock at Sandy Point. Them getting on that boat and doing a quick walk around to sea, wait, this is not normal. There's, there's water on the aft deck already. It's not flushing back over like it's supposed to through the scuppers. Something's going on here. So even a quick walk around to make sure that your boat was safe for sea would, would have stopped this. When the boat sank, three of the four members were wearing dry suits and the other was wearing a float suit, which does not provide thermal protection in the water. Now they're each going to have their own dry suit, which will prevent the water from coming into their dry suit, into the, their suit. And, kind of give them a longer life expectancy if, they, if this happens again. A spokeswoman says the Anne Arundel County Fire Department has purchased two identical metal shark 50 foot defiant fire boats that look like this one. She says they will be larger and designed to handle adverse weather conditions in waterways like the Chesapeake Bay. They will continue to have self draining decks. Still, the ingenuity of the design is a bit different with higher deck platforms from the waterline and increased draining capabilities. She says all certified personnel will be trained and familiar with operating the vessels, so hopefully, this doesn't happen again. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.